Well, baby, give me my spurs because you're going back to Texas. Oh, Grom Bird, Texas. Yeehaw! Feels very Texan. You know, men are men and women are women, and there's a horse running scared somewhere. I was thrilled that we were going to be doing Texas looks. And what that is, is the rodeo. All of us were red, white, and blue. Pinup rodeo cowgirls. I like to take my body and transform it into the ideal silhouette, show bigger people that they can be sexy, to feel empowered as a bigger person. How can I trick up the girls? We did Daisy Duke shorts, blinged out to death. I have this custom belt that has my Elephant Queen logo on it. Imagine. We decided to go like very trans colors for the plaid. We had a lot of beaded fringe all the way down the arms. I had the only giant Marcel waved hair. And of course, perfectly topped with this pink snakeskin hat and my little ankle boots. This cowgirl look was just really inspired by Dukes of Hazard. I look like I have no clothes on right now, but I have at least three layers of clothes on right now. Mama has pads underneath this, shapers, corsets, and then all smoothed out with a full slip-on bodysuit that gives me the perfect nude illusion. What do y'all do here? Rodeo. You rodeo? Whoa. I'm gonna be a sex cat girl, but also a clown as well. I love clowns. So I had Layla do this really cool clown like uh, diamond, and I had someone clown red hair, which felt really nice. And these boots, these custom cowboy boots, they come up to my thigh. I am six foot two. These are very long legs. And I had a red whip with me as well. Oh, oh like one of y'all. Oh, she's into that dungeon stuff. Diego and his team put together this amazing look. Oh, baby, give me sleeves, give me fringe. In addition to that, they were like, let's go with this cow print. I was like, baby, I don't know about Mumu cow. And then when I tried it on, I was like, oh, yes. The denim and the black and white just work. With the crystal accent, it was fabulous. Look at the denim leggings that go up, and it has this connection, this garter. And then my favorite part was the hat. It was a full-on Stetson. I might just spend the rest of my life in things only wearing mumu cow print. In Texas, baby, the hair is big. So I wanted this coiffed set that Wigs and Grace put together for me. It was absolutely beautiful. And makeup artist was like, we're going to take you with the blues and the silvers. She really went in on the mug and stamped it. So no matter what I was doing in the rodeo, baby, the mug was not moving. No. One. Oh, God. That's it. And I think you nailed it. Now let's go to the performance looks. Shay is so smart and a great musician. So Ted LaBelle was our inspiration for the first part. She's in this really big, almost like a brocade fabric. Imagine like a church lady coat, but it goes all the way to the ground. And then they throw that off and then have on this like cat suit with all these like musical notes like wrapping around the leg, going over the shoulder, with this big, beautiful drag hair. This was so much fun. Shay also just has a great face for drag. Oh, Layla's gonna love painting you. It was like, you know, like a snatchback eye, a beautiful, you know, highlight cheek. There is a queen in here. I wanted to be like a band leader. I was in this like white tuxedo. I love a pants, I love a blazer, and I love to have my hair up. I like to show off my face. This performance is based around Ludacris's experience with the book ban in the town that they live in. My school bans over 800 books. I feel like it is my job, because I am this out and proud queer person, to be that shield for those queer kids in Granbury who don't have it. The neon look in general is just a representation of being loud and proud. And then we wanted to really show the complete juxtaposition of the browns and the blacks of the Trunchville-esque character to the neons of this learning with the mohawk. And for Lou, being non-binary, we really wanted to bring in those characters, too, of the non-binary flag. In this performance, I wanted to highlight that Adrian is someone who is not shy or quiet. She is someone who stands up for others in her community. She is a true ally and an advocate. And therefore, she puts herself on the line. So we wanted to say there's nothing wrong with stirring up a little good trouble. So the costume for this look, you start in cover up, but boom, Diego and his group created something fiery in this beautiful fuchsia coloring, something that has movement and sparkles, not just Barbie, but trouble Barbie, fierce Barbie, fabulous Barbie. 
And let's not forget, I was also coming up in the salon with my fellow diva. I wanted to be like, almost like Doja Cat. See the hair? My friend Sammy Figueroa in Dallas came up with this concept. So he just drove it right on over, slapped it on my head. Hallelujah. I've been called a freak so much in my life. It's a whole emotional thing for me. I wanted to perform as this creature. I need these extra long arms. I want a box to be standing on. I want to give it the most drama possible. What was inside the legs were crutches. Oh my God, the performance was so good. And when I busted out and I was in the full nude with the beating heart, is I wanted to represent the love on the inside. We had a fully nude, rhinestone, veiny katsu into this like straight up piece of ponytail that was kind of alien-esque, still freakish, but with this giant heart applique that was all rhinestone and bleeding into the costume. Sometimes people that don't understand who we are, we might as well look like that to them. I'm getting chills talking about it because that's what made it so special for me.